Good morning everyone and welcome to Vlogmas Day 6. I am so unbelievably tired this morning. I haven't quite got a full face of makeup on because I just couldn't really be bothered. I've got my base on, mascara and eyebrows. I've got no blush highlight eyeshadow eyeliner lipstick or anything like that just a little bit of makeup last night i got in from dinner at about just gone 11 p.m i came upstairs to get changed take my makeup off and get ready for bed then i went back downstairs to start editing my video i literally fell asleep at my laptop i was so tired and then when i got into bed i just couldn't sleep for ages so i was up till about two three o'clock in the morning i just haven't been sleeping very well since i've been in leicester Oh, one second. Totally lost my train of thought because I had to go and take a phone call for my gran. But yeah, I'm just packing up to go back to London. <laughs> That's what I was trying to say. Oh my God, I've literally just left my gran's house. It's always so sad when I leave because she's always really sad and emotional. But I'm going to be back in a couple of weeks. My car's completely full. It's about one o'clock, so I should be in London just before three, hopefully. And I've got a lot of stuff to take back inside my house. <laughs> oh my God, I've been driving for like an hour. I'm not even halfway to London and there's so much traffic on the M1. It's a bit of a joke. I'm literally driving at like, what is that? Not even 10 miles an hour? God, this car's so dusty. Uh, this is such a waste of my time it had to be done i've just pulled up at the next services and luckily for me this one has a starbucks but i'm also really hungry so i'm gonna maybe like grab a sandwich or something so i can eat it in the car and get my coffee and then hopefully the traffic will have died down by then i didn't get any food because there was just a kfc there i got my coffee and they spelt my name right so back on my travels i go <laughs> i was hoping to actually be home like an hour ago because it is now 3 p.m i planned to leave leicester at 12 so i'd be like back in London for two because I haven't edited yesterday's video at all it's now three o'clock and I'm about halfway to London so I really hope that I get there by about four that'll only really give me two hours to like oh my god take everything out of the car I've got loads of food and stuff for dinner tonight that my grand's made all my luggage and unpack edit my video and upload it so I think tonight's upload it's safe to say is going to be very late but do you know what that's fine there's also like loads of people coming out of the services watching me vlog so I'm just gonna go because I really need to make a move <laughs> Oh my god what a day like i just i don't want to cry but i kind of want to punch somebody you know you're just so angry i've spent three hours driving back from leicester to london i've literally just got in i've unloaded the car i mean look at how much stuff i have oh and i've got more stuff here there's just stuff all over the place in this house but it is four o'clock i was meant to be home at two and i only have about two hours till my video needs to go live i also realize that this means that my vlog from today is very boring because i've done nothing but I thought I'd just perch you up on the ironing board while I unpack my laptop bag and also pray that I haven't forgotten anything in Leicester because that would actually be the worst, could you imagine? I realise my vlog from today has been very boring and I'm hoping to like kind of get back to a bit more normality now that I'm back in London but because my vlog is boring I think what I'll do is once I've done all this and made a start on unpacking, I might run through a few empties because my empties collection has been building up um, quite a lot and I've got quite a few bits, even a few bits that I finished in Leicester. So I thought I might just film a few of those and put them into this vlog. So I hope you don't mind, but I think it depends on what time I'm done because Jas comes back from Dublin tonight and I cannot wait to see him because it's been like four days and thankfully I don't have to make dinner tonight because my gran is a star. She has made so much food that I won't have to cook tonight and tomorrow. Actually, I need to put the food in the fridge. So yeah, I will be back. <laughs> okay, right, let's do this. I've got a few empties here. It is about half past eight. I think Jas should be home in about 20 minutes. And because I have no exciting content for today, I thought I would whack on a bright lipstick because I look like crap. And I've literally just been sat here editing ever since I got home. Oh my god, that's four hours, that's insane. So yeah, here is my box of empties. It's been filling up quite nicely since the last time I filmed one of these videos and I wanna get rid of this stuff as per usual, so here goes. First up, I finished one of these um, Boots Curl Creams. You guys know I go through tons of these. I must have been through more. I've obviously binned them. I include them in every single empties video. In fact, I think my stash of them is running very low, so I need to go to Boots and actually stock up. I should have done that when I was in Leicester because 
again I can just park up right outside and just pop in but yeah I just love them it is my holy grail hair product I don't know where I'd be without it probably quite poor judging by the amount of hair I have and that one's just great because it's like $1.99 or something like that next up I have shower gel I only really like the original source shower gels I love the new packaging of these and um, they used to be like actually I've got one of the old ones this is the large size bottle but they used to be like almost triangular but 3d shaped this is the 500 ml so it's a larger one yeah the regular one's 250 ml i tend to sort of alternate between the lemon and lime one i don't really care for fancy shower gel like if i get given some that's great i'll use it but i mean it's just shower gel so i just like the original source stuff and i have tried their other sort of scents like mint cherry their almond milk one. I'm not a fan of any of those really, just the lemon or the lime one. Preferably the lime is my favorite. I have another one of these Boots Curl Creams because you guys know I go through tons of those. Next up I have the La Roche-Posay Micellar Water. This was a bit of a struggle to finish, I'm not gonna lie. I just don't think it's worth its price tag at all. I picked it up ages ago on like a three for two in Boots. Tried it out a few times, wasn't a fan of it and I just thought, you know what, I've spent a lot of money on it. I feel like it's about 11 pounds or so and I just needed to use it up. So what I did was when I was filming Halloween makeup look, I just used to use this to get rid of like any makeup off the back of my hand, clean brushes, clean my table, get rid of fake blood and stuff like that just to finish it up. But like I said, I'm not really a fan of this one. I just don't think it's as good as a Garnier one and for about a fiver for more than triple the amount, I guess, compared to about £11 for this, it's just not worth it. I definitely wouldn't buy that one again. In fact, Garnier Micellar Water, um, I have two of these. This one's the 125 mil. This is the 100 mil. This always used to be a pound and I stocked up on it, but I feel like you can't find them anymore. And it is a little bit annoying if you want to like take it abroad because it is over 100 mil. But now I've noticed they've started selling the 100 mil bottles for I think they're 90p in Primark and 99p in Home Bargain. You can't really find them anywhere else as far as I know. I've still seen these, but they're £3. I think it's a lot of money. I just hate... I know I always say this, but in case you haven't watched my videos before, I just hate that you can't refill them. You just cannot unscrew this and it's such a waste of plastic. I know that obviously it makes good business sense for them because you have to keep repurchasing these, but it's a bit like coffee, like instant coffee. I love that you can buy the refillable packs so you're not constantly paying for the jar as well, but there's just nothing you can do with these. It's a bit of a shame, but I did manage to pick up quite a few of these when I was in Leicester, so that was good. The mini size, because I go through them all the time. In fact, before I discovered them in private market home bargains i didn't want to spend three pounds on it and it wasn't on offer anywhere so i picked up this nivea extra gentle eye makeup remover instead i think i've got two of these but i've just finished one i finished this yesterday and it's okay i don't love it i mean it gets rid of eye makeup but i feel like you have to scrub that little bit harder whereas with micellar water you don't so i would repurchase it again if the other one wasn't on offer and this was all that was available but if i had a choice of the two and they were the same price i would just go with the micellar water i finally finished this mini lizelle cleanse and polish i actually think this had gone off by the time i got to the end of it i don't love this i used to love it i used to think it was great i don't don't really see the hype over this anymore I just I just don't think it's all that and maybe it's just because I love using a balm cleanser I don't know what it is but I find this is quite hard to travel with because you have to use a muslin cloth in order to get it off I'm not that big on the scent anymore it's just a very nice normal cleanser if you want something with a bit more oomph but i feel really gets rid of makeup i would just use a balm cleanser and that's what i've been doing so i wouldn't repurchase this maybe for home like the full size but definitely not a mini i was really sad to finish this this is the pestle and mortar pure hyaluronic serum i really really enjoyed using this i love the packaging i love the design of it it's very high end it is pricey so i was using it sparingly but i wasn't a fan of traveling with it just because it's a glass bottle and i feel like all hyaluronic acids do come with a glass bottle maybe it's the formula that it just needs to be in a glass bottle i don't really know but i really like this the pipette was great you've got enough product in one sort of 
squeeze of the pipette to like cover your whole face it's quite a runny sort of formula because it's a serum so i found that it really absorbs nicely into skin and it sunk in quite quickly so it made a great base for like makeup application and stuff like that so i really really enjoyed using this i bought this empty back with me from toronto it's the sephora rose eye mask i am not the biggest fan of sheet masks i mean i have a ton of them i keep buying them and being sent them i don't love them but i love them for just sticking into my travel makeup bag because they're really easy to do in hotels and things like that i use this just as we landed in toronto checked into our first hotel and this one is supposed to be ultra moisturizing and brightening i don't feel like i noticed any kind of brightening properties but it, it was very moisturizing i left it on for about an hour before i went to bed and just sort of rubbed the excess in under my eyes and it was really nice it's a nice sort of quick fix after you've been on the flight for about eight hours or so so i would definitely use this again but only when when I'm traveling I wouldn't use it at home just because I feel like it's a nice treat for your under eye area or for your skin when you're traveling god some of these are so old they've been sat here for ages but this is the PS Primark uh, one pound stick on nails I absolutely hated these I remember they're just really badly made I know they do like loads of different fake nails at different price points but I think I found that with these ones in particular the almond shape they were too narrow for my nail bed so you'd see my nail on either side and they didn't have a good selection of sizes so i have tried other primark stick on nails in the past i can't remember which ones but they were definitely in my last empties videos and they were like a much better fit these i found were just the worst ones and so i wouldn't recommend the almond ones unless you have like a really small nail bed in which case that's fine but i don't wear stick on nails anymore i've gone back to acrylics because i absolutely love them and nothing really beats acrylics when i look back at my old pictures or videos and i think it was most of the summer that i stopped wearing acrylics and i was just wearing stick on nails i can really tell the difference because they like overlap your cuticle overlap your skin they all just look perfect and the right size they're obviously not like tailored for your actual nails so it is a great fix if you can't afford acrylics or you just want to wear them as a one-off but for me personally long term they're just not for me i also have this this is like totally rubbed off the writing but this is the long calm like waterproof black eyeliner pencil i can't remember the exact name of it but there's literally no writing on this i absolutely love these i found that there was a time where i was allergic to pretty much every single pencil in my eye and that was when i used to wear colored contact lenses i can't currently wear the colored contact lenses oh my jump is strangling me and so i've been wearing the pixie eye pencil and i find that doesn't irritate my eyes at all this used to be my favorite one and there's there's still some left but it's just so old but i knew that it had to go but i used to absolutely love this and it's not too creamy that it kind of separates in your eye and you get bits of black because i think that's what used to irritate my contact lenses so i think for me personally if i'm using an eye pencil on the insides of my eyes if i'm tight lining or on my waterline i prefer something a little bit harder and this was perfect for me but i think the pixie one is a lot more affordable so when i run out of that one i'll probably repurchase the pixie one let me just hold these in my hand so i'm not holding Holding the whole box because that is very annoying next up is this smashbox always on liquid lipstick in the shade Bolse. i absolutely love the shade of this red it's very similar to the red that i was wearing in last night's video which is a new one by too faced i love that bright pillar box red but but i wasn't a fan of the formula of the smashbox lipsticks they just don't last as long you can really feel them on your lips they start to crack after a while and i went to use this at halloween and it's completely dried out okay it's about two years old so it has completely dried out i ended up sort of using it on my face as a base for some fake blood <laughs> this one is definitely ready for the bin um it's a shame because it was a really nice shade but just not something that i would wear if i needed to wear it for more than an hour or so so i definitely wouldn't repurchase that i also finally finished one of my nars radiant creamy concealers in the shade caramel you guys may have seen that i filmed a video on how to sort of pull the stopper out so that you can get more product out of your concealer i've done that to all of my nars concealers and they've lasted me more than twice as long they just keep going it's like mary poppins's bag every time i go in there to get more product out just tons of it comes out and it's great but this one has definitely dried up there's nothing left in it whatsoever but you don't even have to ask if i'll repurchase that because i probably have about three or four more sitting in my drawer <laughs> i also finished the glossier boy brow and i have this in the shade black i love this repurchased it totally get the hype over this just is home i'll be back oh yeah oh yes yeah, 
Okay, I'm back. I'm almost done. So yeah, I've already repurchased the Glossier Boy Brow. I totally get the hype over the brush. It's just the best brush I've ever used. And last but not least, I finished a Maybelline Eraser Eye Concealer in the shade Nude. You guys know that I highlight with this all over my face. I've gone through tons of these and there's literally nothing left. In fact, I have quite a few like different shades that I've picked up in Toronto and the US. So I really want to try them just to see if they actually work as a concealer for me. But yeah, that is the end of my empties. Jas is home, so I'm going to go and have dinner and chat to him and watch The Apprentice because that is our new Thursday night thing. Because The Apprentice is on on a Wednesday and we both watch it together and he's no longer here on a Wednesday. He didn't watch it yesterday, nor did I because I was out for dinner with my friend. So we're going to watch that while we have dinner. Oh, and just because I know I'll forget later, I'm going to end this vlog here because it is almost 9pm. I'm not doing anything interesting with the rest of my day apart from having dinner and watching TV. But I wanted to say really quickly that don't forget to enter my Charlotte Tilbury giveaway because today is the last day. By the time this video goes up, you will only have until midnight on Friday. So midnight today when this video goes up to enter my giveaway there are only three steps that you need to take subscribe to my youtube channel follow me on instagram follow charlotte tilbury on instagram and also leave your instagram handle in the comments below that video and that video is vlogmas day one but i'll link it on screen so make sure you enter to be in with a chance of winning and i'll announce the winner on my instagram stories so make sure you keep your eyes peeled for that but thank you so much for watching i'll see you tomorrow for day seven bye